Hey everyone, in this video, I want to talk about two updates to App Gateway for containers that have been reflected in the documentation today. Now I've done a deep dive on App Gateway for containers before, so you can go and check out that video for the detail, but think of it as a solution built from the ground up to be that gateway for container workloads. And it's gonna replace the old app gateway ingress controller that you may have been using before. And when we look at these updates, there's two big updates. And the first one is all about mutual authentication or mutual TLS. Now, if we take a, a step back and think about, well, what is mutual authentication? Ordinarily, I have my backend service, and that backend service is going to be consumed by some client. And the client wants to ensure it's really talking to who it thinks it's talking to. So it performs a server authentication. And the way this is typically done is the server will have a certificate that was issued by some trusted certificate authority that's built into the client as a trusted root authority. And what will happen is as part of the initial conversation, hey, hello, hello back, and then it's gonna present this certificate. So the server presents the certificate and the client can then validate that certificate. It can say, hey, is it issued by someone I trust? Does the fully qualified domain name match who I'm talking to? Hey, they really are who they say are. So that helps the client ensure that's really the server. But when we think of mutual authentication, we also want the server to be able to validate the client. I, I want a two-way authentication. Now here we talked about the server had a certificate that it had been purchased by a, a trusted authority. I'm not gonna to wanna to do that for thousands or tens of thousands of clients. So when we think about the certificate the client is gonna have, well, this cert is typically gonna be issued by an internal set of certificate authority infrastructure. So you'll have some kind of root CA within your company. That root CA would then issue certificates for an intermediary set of services, so you have the intermediary CAs who will then issue the certificates to those actual clients. And those intermediary CAs will also provide services to check, hey, is the certificate still valid? The client hasn't got into a bad state and it's been revoked. So it may make available a certificate revocation list. It may also offer an online certificate status protocol endpoint. So whoever's seeing that certificate can say, hey, this is still a good cert. And so what we would then do is on our service, we take the certificates, we create a cert bundle. And because this server, if it's maybe external in some way and doesn't trust the same sets of certificate authorities, you would take this certificate bundle and I would upload it here. The net result of this now means that when the client talks to the server, yes, the client validates its certificate, so it trusts this server, but the server will also say, hey, give me your certificate that it will also validate. So you're doing this mutual authentication. And this can be really important if I think about things like zero trust. I want to always be validating. If I think about internet of things, I have all these sensors sending data, well, I want to make sure it's really the client because even if maybe the sensor is just sending data, well, if I send bad data, I could pollute the service by sending lots of bad signals and make it make bad decisions. So we want to do this mutual authentication. So this is really the whole thing about what all of this is about. Okay, so what does this have to do with App Gateway for containers? And I promise it does. So if we think about App Gateway for containers in this flow, so you still have the idea of, hey, I have the client and you still have the backend server, which is pods running on Kubernetes. So the app gateway for containers sits in the middle of this solution. So I've now got my app gateway for containers. And what it currently had or previously only had 
was the idea of mutual authentication between the app gateway for containers and the backend service. So what I could absolutely do is it could do a mutual authentication here. I it was doing a back end mutual TLS. But it didn't do this front end part. Now, if you happen to be using the older legacy app gateway ingress controller, we'll, we'll do that in a, a sadder color. So let's say you were using the app gateway ingress, i.e. that legacy piece. What it supported was that idea of mutual auth between the client and itself, but there was no mutual TLS here. So there's a feature gap. The old solution could do mutual between the client and the app gateway ingress controller, but it couldn't do it to the back end. So there was no end to end. Whereas the newer solution, the app gateway for containers could only do it to the back end. As you would expect, otherwise this would be a very disappointing video. The update here is it does now have this front end as well. So now we can also get this mutual authentication, i.e. we're doing a front end mutual TLS. And we can see this. So if I jump over super, super quickly. So this has been configured. And all I'm gonna do is try and connect without using a client certificate. And you can see it's throwing me out. It's saying, hey, you need a certificate required. But now if I actually give it a certificate, well, now you see we actually connect all the way through. We get responses. We can see, hey, I'm talking uh, to particular pods down here. And that now just functions. And the key cool part of this, when you really think about what are we doing right here, is all of this is happening without this having to know anything about it. Remember, App Gateway for Containers terminates the connection, it's establishing that session, and then it creates a separate one over here. So adding this mutual TLS, this now front end mutual TLS, I don't have to make any changes on my backend service. It doesn't have to know anything about it. But now if I wanted to, because we already had this mutual authentication and now we have the front end as well, if you want to, you can totally enable an end-to-end -end mutual auth. I'd establish the front end mutual TLS, and I'd establish the back end mutual TLS, which means the whole end to end configuration is always authenticating both the service and the client. So that was one of the big changes. I think that opens up a, a lot of really cool uh, options now. The other thing that is being announced, so if that was the mutual TLS, the other thing now is gRPC support. So now we also have gRPC. And gRPC is really useful when I have those high performance requirements, low latency applications. You see it in a lot of microservice architectures. It can do a lot more than regular WebSockets, but it feels a lot like WebSockets when you're actually using it. And there are four types of gRPC and they are all supported. So if we go back and think about the things that are involved, so I have the client, we have, um, obviously we have the app gateway um, for containers, so the AGC, and then obviously we have the AKS cluster over here. And we have those four different types. So you have the unary, so the unary, is, hey, I initi initiate some requests. So the client initiates a request. I go with containers, will send it on. And the AKS cluster sends a response and you send it back. And then that would repeat. You get these unique set of connections each time. Sending a request, I get a response back. Just like regular HTTP, nothing particularly special there. Then you have the idea 
of client streaming. So with client streaming, you say, hey, I, I'm just gonna keep sending you data, but I'm not getting any response from the server. It, the server is just basically collecting the data. So think, hey, in this sense, it's some kind of sensor that I'm just sending data. So, hey, I'm sending stuff, I'm sending stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Then you can have the idea of exactly the same, but the reverse. So I think of a server streaming. So in the server streaming, this is where I really just want to initiate a connection and the server just keeps sending me data, uh, like a stock ticker example. So here, yeah, I send my initial saying, hey, I want this data. And then it just keeps sending me data back. That's just gonna keep carrying on. And then you have bidirectional. they each are establishing their own set. So, hey, this is, can send data in that direction. Also, it can be sending, and maybe there's another one over here. At the same time, hey, it can be getting data this way, and it just kind of carries on. So they have these independent flows, both from client to the server and server to the client, they can happen simultaneously. So all four of these, types are now supported with App Gateway for containers. So I can just go and leverage those. And so that is available now. You can go and start trying it today. So that was the super quick update. Mutual TLS now for the front end, it already had it for the back end, but that's really cool now that without having to really know anything on that back end, if I wanted to, I can just now establish and do those checks at the App Gateway for containers and ensure the client is who they say they are via a certificate authority that we would upload that bundle into App Gateway for containers as part of the YAML configuration using the Kubernetes secret store. Uh, obviously I could hook into Key Vault if I wanted to using the uh, Key Vault CSI driver. Got that, so I could do complete end to end and now we have gRPC support as well. So I hope that was useful. As always till next video, take care.